loves and babes and welcome back to another video for you guys and today has been a crazy day I actually have another video I am working on to upload for you guys and so many more videos projects um, explorations things like that that I have planned um, and also I wanted to talk to you as you can tell by the title on why I haven't been uploading and I feel that I honestly should be able to keep it real with you guys y'all are my family and I mean everybody has questions everybody has concerns everybody you know does certain things and um, before a certain thing happened which I will get into um, I was brainstorming on ideas for the channel um, possibly a new name for the channel a new name for you guys so if y'all have any suggestions make sure to leave comments down below let me know what you think if y'all love the loves and babes and the fam squad because I do want to start making merch soon um, and you know put it out there to where y'all can order you know winners coming up so sweaters things like that um, and as we grow merch will grow and so but besides all of that guys and girls if y'all aren't subscribed already make sure you hit the red button down below make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified every time I upload a video and by the end of this video or in the middle if you decide to give this video a big thumbs up I would greatly greatly appreciate it and just keep watching and let's get into this video Okay, so recently I know my last upload was around July or the end of June. Um, I took some time to kind of step back, think about what I wanted to do um, as far as naming um, the channel differently, if y'all like, you know, you know, Randa Baby, um, what Randa Baby originated from was I grew up with that name. It's my nickname. Sometimes y'all will hear me say Randa Lee because that's just what I grew up. And since I was the baby of the family, everybody was like, Randa Baby, Randa Baby. So that kind of stuck with me. And when I made my channel, Randa Baby was you know, the first thing that popped into my head. But since there is going to be more, um, you know, little vlogs or more vlogs per se, you know, with me, my son, my family, my husband, things like that, um, I wanted to make the channel name a little different and more compatible to what the channel will be representing um but as far as loves and babes if y'all like that make sure you know you can leave a thumbs up and also comment below and let me know if you want me to keep that for you guys because when i do do merch i do want to have you know our little logos and things like that and for the guys have you know the babes on there, or the loves, and the girls, the babes, and the loves, and things like that, and I want to make it cute, and relatable to, you know, the fam squad, um, so just anything, any suggestions, any ideas that you guys have, um, especially the ones that have been here since day one, 
Um, don't be afraid to comment and leave your suggestions and ideas as well. But another thing that I wanted to address. Um, so recently I had posted um, two videos. One where I took my son, um, me and Alex took him to the Jurassic Quest that was in Houston at the NRG Stadium, which was amazing. Um, I do have more footage. And I would, you know, like to share more of that with y'all. Um, y'all can see uh, pictures and everything like that. I will leave all of my social media in the description below so you can check, you know, pictures out and everything like that. Y'all can follow me um, on, I don't get on Facebook um, and other social medias, but I do post accordingly to, you know, promote my YouTube and uh, pictures, things like that. So definitely go follow me and check out, you know, any updates and things like that that will be on my social media. So let's get into what I was going to get into. So I took the month off um, until about August and I had started doing the videos and those videos were actually recorded in July so when August 4th came I had actually went to turn myself in um, to sit out tickets and things of that sort um, in jail, and I wasn't expected to be in, in there as long as I was. I was in there from August 4th to the day I actually uploaded the videos, which was maybe a day or two ago, and it was an experience, and it was... The reason I am telling you guys this is because I didn't want anyone to think, oh, I neglected my channel, I'm neglecting, you know, my subscribers, things like that. I do realize I lost a couple of subscribers and, you know, the only thing I can do is gain more and continue to post daily and be here for you guys and continue to give content to you guys regardless if it's makeup tutorials and things like that like I said I'm gonna be doing way more vlogs um, we're gonna be doing way more events um, things like that so but I do want to talk about you know I already told you why I was in there and kind of the journey that I experienced in there I had received a lot of questions, and I know a lot of people do have questions, um, you know, about why or what it's like being in there, not why I was in there, because, you know, it is personal, and, um, you know, it is for tickets and um, a couple of other things, but I do want to, you know, share my experience with you guys, and I think it would be a great little story time. And also a way to come back and let you guys know that I haven't given up and I'm still here with you all. And I am ready to grow with you guys. And hopefully this channel can, you know, be the best it can be. Especially me feeling like I am now a better person mentally, physically emotionally everything so with that being said let's get started and tell you about my experience while I was in there okay so the first thing was um, I turned myself in I got booked in I did the whole process and it actually took 
hours, literally hours, to get booked in, get dressed out, and I actually had to get changed out and go to, they call it the back. Um, I was in a open dorm with 48 other women, um, and you actually learn a lot. Not, I mean, of course, about other people, but more about yourself. Um, you know, I'm not afraid to tell you guys that I have struggled with, um, when I was younger, abuse and, um, you know, with my biological father being abusive to me and to my mother and, um, you know, just growing up and having to struggle so hard and you meet a lot of women especially older than you that you know are struggling and it is very emotional and when you're around people especially women for so long of course you get to know these women and you do start to feel for them, but you do have to watch your back. That is one thing. Um, because everybody is in there for a reason. And, you know, some people can tell you one thing and lie straight to your face and be completely opposite on the outside. So, being in jail, I did a lot of time of, you know, writing down things I wanted to do for my channel, of course. Um, I did grow a stronger connection with God. I prayed every night, every morning, um, and I know to each its own. Everybody has their own religious, you know, religious preferences and everything like that, um, but that is one thing that had helped me. Um, so, like I said, I was in a, like, um, how could I, exp it wasn't very big. Um, in the mornings, you had to eat. Breakfast was at, like, 5.30 in the morning. And then I would hurry. It took me a while to get used to taking showers in front of so many women, so in the morning when everyone was sleeping, um, I would get in the shower and get out, um, so I took a shower every morning, and then you have to wash your own clothes, yeah, never thought I'd be washing clothes in jail, but, you know, it happens, um, and, you know, you read books, things like that, now, as far as... I wasn't in a prison, so there wasn't, like, gang things or anything like that, um, but there were certain cliques. Luckily, I was able to get along with everyone, um, and you get rec time where you get to go outside from 8 o'clock in the morning to about... They call it chow time, which is lunch at 11, and then after that, um, you can go back outside, or they let you watch TV, and then you have to rack up, which is getting on your bunks, and rack, and sit on your bunk for about 30 minutes or so, and then you can go back outside. They do close outside at 4.30 when they have dinner time. Let me tell you guys, the food was terrible. Luckily, they have, um, it's called commissary, where you can buy food um, on, like, this little tablet thing and, like, soups and snacks and things like that. Um, it literally took me about a week and a half to use the restroom. Not, like, peeing, but number two, I'm just saying... I don't know if it was stress or the food or what it was, but, um, yeah, that was very difficult for me. Um, 
So I had lost a little bit of weight. Um, and then I kind of started to settle in a little bit because I knew even though I was going to be getting me out, I knew I was there for the time being, you know? So I had a couple of questions on what do you do during the day? Well, you can watch TV. Um, now, some guards, they won't turn the TV on, and you can only read or go outside. And literally, this outside area was probably as big as a living room. And not a big living room. Like, a regular size little den area is how big it was and there was a gate on top where the sun could barely shine through but um and then um also I've had people ask you know what we sleep on you sleep on a metal bunk bed and a very thin mat so it's very hard to sleep um, also, um, people asked about the food. Yeah, the food was terrible. So you were able to have people put money on your books is what they call them. And you can order like snacks and drinks and things like that. Cups and bowls. Um, and they had okay food, but it was pricey. They gouged the prices up. So luckily, you know, I was able to have money to where I could buy, you know, food, because at the first, like, two weeks, I didn't eat, I never ate the breakfast, but I would only eat, like, dinner or lunch, and that was it, so I would be hungry, um, but other than that, um, you know, you couldn't really do much, all you can do is really think, um, luckily they had church, and also, while I was in there, I was able to become a trustee, and I was a detail worker, which I got to go outside, pick up trash. Um, I wasn't there, you know, long enough, but they do get to go across the ferry um, to, you know, another... Port Bolivar is in Texas, if, um, I don't know if a lot of people know where that's at, but, um, you know, you can go clean trash there, or go on Galveston Beach, the Gulf of Mexico, go on the beach, pick up trash, things like that, so, that was good, and also being a trustee really helps, you know, it look better on you, um, but, what else did somebody ask, um, you do, I, I didn't know anyone personally in there, thank goodness. Um, I've never really been in trouble like this or anything. I, you know, turned myself in to sit my little tickets out or whatever. Um, so, but, so no, I didn't know anyone um, except for one person, which was ironically one of my best friends, um, and she's, you know, I'm praying for her to come home soon, um, because she should be getting out very soon as well, but other than that, guys, a lot of people, um, think that, oh, you know, Joe is, you're so badass, or things like that, and really what I want to do and say, um, it's not somewhere that you want to be, you know, I didn't get to see my son for a month, I had to pay to talk to him on the phone, and I missed his first day of school, and, you know, hearing him cry and things like that, it breaks your heart. And even if you don't have kids, 
the only thing and the best thing that I can say is you really want to keep yourself focused and to be the best person that you can possibly be because family is the most important thing to you, especially to me. And without them, I honestly don't know where I would be or what, you know, I would even be doing. But it makes you think about a lot. And so I thought about goals that I wanted to accomplish, you know, going back to school for certain things like my business degree and, you know, just being a better person in general. Um... And if I could give one advice to just one person that watches or to many people and to younger women and younger men or older women and men is to think about your family and who it affects and also the life that you have to live with, especially being in trouble, and that follows you for the rest of your life. And, you know, it's hard, especially when you want to find a job, or you want to get your driver's license, or you want to go to school and do nursing, or do something so amazing, something so little can be taken away from you so fast. And... You know, within a whole month, I felt like it was a whole year that I'd miss. And those are things that you just can't, you know, regain back. So, my little puppy. If y'all haven't met him yet, this is little Gambino. Um... He was literally as big as my hand when I went in, and now he is, he's, he's not that big, but he got bigger, um, and he is such a baby, too. Mm-hmm. He's a little baby. The biggest baby ever, but like I was saying, just, you know, finish school, finish, you know, if you're in high school or anything like that. Do, make good grades, think about, you know, your future, and if you see somebody that is going down a wrong path, all you gotta do is take that one second and give back to somebody, or, you know, talk to somebody, or tell them, you know, words of encouragement even helps. If I would have known now, what I didn't know then, I feel things will be a lot different, you know? Um, but as far as being in there, you know, for a month, you know, I was able to work um, and it helped time go by faster. It's not a fun place to be. Um, it's hard. I mean... It's not what movies make it out to seem, you know. Everybody has feelings, so everybody has a moment when they break down there, and it's hard. And if I could take back the decisions that I've made and, you know, anything that I did wrong to hurt anybody or you know, incidents that I did to make my life harder, I definitely would take it back. But like I said, I had put all of my faith in everything in God's hands, and I feel like it everything will work out for the best. So that is another reason why I wanted to come on here and let you guys know why I had been gone. If y'all have any more questions about, you know, the situation or anything, feel free to comment down below. Um, you know, I want 
to make this something to where I can be a positive influence for people, plus have fun on here, plus do vlogs, plus, you know, share my life with you guys, and that's what, you know, my whole channel is about, um, but I did miss you guys, I do love you guys, and for all of the subscribers and the supporters that are still here, that still show me love, that, you know, I do have a shout out to John, um, and I missed y'all too, and I missed you too, and thank you, you know, for commenting and showing love. Okay, my love, I'm coming, but, um, you know, I know this isn't going to be too much of a long video, but I did want to explain just a little bit of what was going on, and I hope y'all did enjoy the last two videos that I put out. Um, I'm also going to be doing a makeup tutorial either, yes, pop, pop in the morning tomorrow. Um, uh, today we went to a funeral and it was my husband's ex-boss. Um, he was like a father figure to him and to me. I loved him. Um, his name was Johnny Davis, and I know he's in a better place, so I don't want to cry, but he was a great, great man, and um, so we did go to that. That's why I have makeup on right now. My hair probably looks a little done. It's a little hot outside today, but I love you guys, and I just wanted to come on here and let y'all know what's going on. So, again, any suggestions about anything I said in the video, leave a comment down below. And also, give this video a thumbs up. If y'all have any questions about, you know, anything concerning about gel or anything like that. Um, and also about type of merch, you know, ideas for the shirts and things like that and for our names and if y'all like the love love and babes and fam squad and things like that and also possibly a new name for the channel um just leave comments down below i love you guys and until tomorrow i will see y'all later peace